Okay, we're in theory. All right, the TV didn't light up yet. Hey, the TV lit up. Here we go. Okay. Oh, we're in. Okay. Let's hang in there. Okay, so here we All go. Right, A lot to digest here, folks, but we've got Green Ranger, who is Phil on the left, and we've got Shade, who is Jeff K on the right. I'm going to move my camera so it's a little bit out of the way here. There we go. I know you guys need to see my pretty face while we're uh, getting some Axie time in. So Shade will be going second, and that's why he starts with this cute energy coin here. And uh, that'll be a zero cost. That'll give him plus one energy to, to make up for the disadvantage of going second. So it'll be on Phil here to go first. And these two gentlemen are being very patient so that we have just a little bit of time to digest what's happening here. Oh my god, my turn time is running out. And yeah, go. <laughs> go for it. I'm loaded in. Oh, you can go ahead and start playing. Sorry, I probably should have gone ahead and tell you that. Rosa. Uh, Rosa is good, man. One. Man, I'm still reading these like card descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many effects. All right, so we've got um, Jeff K, who's well studied and has a very synergistic triple aqua lineup that we'll dive into, and then we've got Phil, who's still reading his abilities here uh, as we get into the game. So we'll go ahead and read them together. Uh, he does have two axes with Rosa, uh, innate. A lot of things to digest on this screen, but innate means you start with it automatically, so you have some strategy there, uh, and obviously you get to apply poison and sleep to random enemies. Um, then Banish takes the card. It doesn't go in your discard pile. It just goes away. So cards that have Banish, once they're Banished, uh, they're done. They're they're like out of the game, so to speak. They go into a dead pile, hey. I guess you could say. Can I talk out loud here? Is yeah, okay? please. All right, yeah. So since I go second, I get that energy coin. So I'll get four energy, but I don't have to use the energy coin right away. Um, I could save it for future turns because it has retain. Um, so this classic aqua build, um, is one of the oldest origin builds. <laughs> uh, a lot of people during the play tests played this. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I was going to use this one too, but I decided not to because tried to mix it up, let people see some different things. But yeah, this is a very solid, solid build. I'm going to telescope for the Koi here. See how this works. I do 165 damage in that, because I have three Aquas. Uh, I'll do a Lamb here. And now we're going to see the beauty of Shoalstar, the energy coin. Use my energy coin, and it'll Shoalstar here. There it is. So a bit of like a culling blade type ability. If you're f familiar with Dota 2, any Dota 2 fans out there, if they're below 120 HP, then it auto kills. So uh, very powerful. And you've probably seen that one on Twitter. I think Chuck Fresco was tweeting about it uh, being broken already and uh, hasn't even played the game yet. So, Right. Man, this is a... Uh... This is a no mercy game. I'm just, I'm just gonna get rocked here. Um, so you can see here, I have this card, the Fallen's Longsword. Oh uh, yeah, that actually is because, uh, yeah, my my uh, dead axi, uh, or not dead, painted, whatever it is, um, now gives these cards in replacement of theirs. Yeah, revenge um, cards. This is this is a, a new mechanic we haven't one. talked so about at all yet. It. Okay, so a new reveal. Yeah, um, and, and the idea here is that um, you get too limited if all of, like, if you have a dead Axie and then all those cards are just gone, um, and you can't draw cards that do zero because that's way too much of a detriment. So you get these kind of half cards that are called revenge cards. So as you get down to that final Axie, you do get some extra kind of RNG with the card draw. Uh, based on whether or not you're drawing cards for your alive Axie or if you're getting these revenge cards. But the revenge cards are banish cards, so um, they only get played once, and then they go away. Uh, you can see Silence Whisper, uh, much better now. It's just a targeted heal, plus 65. No longer has to be an Axie in front, so I think uh, Silence Whisper both has a great-looking cosmetic and a very useful active. So you can see some of the synergy in uh, what Shade is doing here. He's got the telescope on two axes. It's a banished card, but it lets you draw aquatics. You've got the Nemo, which is a zero cost. Gain one energy if your axe is at full HP. So a little finicky. 
And if you're not at full HP, then it just heals you for 25. Yeah, you can see uh, some of the, the Aquas here have higher HP as well. Um, there are some some runes that will uh, uh, really bump those up. Yes. Yeah, Aquas can kind of be tanks now, it seems like. Um, there you go, a little Nemo heal. And of course, there's double Nemo now. You got the Nemo fin, and you've got that Nemo tail. So two different types of Nemo. Green Ranger here. Yeah. So a here's, bit of here's a... <laughs> what do we got, Phil? Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, there's... there's. I mean, the, the goal I was trying with this build was just poison. Uh, uh, poison nonstop, but definitely hurts that one of one of my guys are gone already. Um, but this is a, this is a super, uh, you know, uh, important one for poison. Green thorns apply two poison six times. Um, uh, it, once you build those up, you can really get the poison going. I see. Uh, you didn't go for the strawberry though, huh? Uh, yeah, strawberries. Yeah, well, I wanted to show that too. It. Uh, yeah, gives you uh, once you get those strawberries, um, you can yeah target uh, uh, differently. It's healing based, of course, as you would expect with the strawberries. Mm -hmm. And the poison mechanic works slightly differently here in Origin. Um, now you have this. You just saw one stack falls off per round. So you right. do slowly cleanse, but you'll see that poison does get added a little bit more easily. Uh, there's a little more AOE to play with. Yeah, and it could stack up to 30. And each stack does three damage. So 30 is a lot. get a lot of damage. Yeah, it is a lot. And it's happened many times before. It's not difficult to get to 30. So more energy from what Jeff K has here. Blue Moon on two of the axes, you get a card draw. So um, if people are wondering why my HP is so high, it's because of the runes and charms, right? Um, if you click on my aquas, you'll see that I have Heart of the Ocean, which is mm. a mystic rune, which gives all my axes 75 HP. And all three of them have Heart of the Ocean. So <laughs> you run three aquas, each one gets a mystic rune that increases the HP of your entire team. So triple aqua, you can just beef up and get these super tanky boys. Dude, right. that's it. That's really, really good. That's that seems uh, seems quite strong, Mister Shade. Yeah, almost too good. We'll see about those. <laughs> All right, another shoal star. So Green Ranger uh, I'm in on some my last trouble legs. Here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else? What else do we want to? Yeah. You're... These are these are mostly show off builds. So let's see what else we can show. Um, yeah. Here's a another a couple of revenge uh, cards. Yeah. Revenge cards. Um, so you can see like the fallen one. shield. It's both ethereal and it's a banish. So ethereal is when your turn ends. If the card is still in your hand, it gets banished. Banish cards are removed from your deck until the end of the battle. Uh, and then when you use it, it also gets banished. So it's kind of saying like, hey, use it or lose it. Yeah, you, it's it's not shown, I think, in the, the live stream, but there's a bunch of other uh, other UI that we have here that shows like how much energy we have, our discard piles and all of that too. Um, and so that's just not, not shown in the stream though, I believe. Ah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so we are watching on the spectator mode right now that's designed to be able to see like both sides. Uh, obviously, the interface does look a little bit different from the, the total first-person perspective. So one, one thing to note here also is energy does not carry over like it does in Classic. Um, so you want to make sure you use all your energy. So it's it's kind of funny when you mouse over the like uh, discard counts and like how much energy you have this round. It just says enemy for both of you. So a as a spectator, I guess you're both my enemies. <laughs> We're all enemies. All right, nice Nemo. So I can't kill here. 
Um, but I could do 50 damage with Shoalstar, and I might as well because I have two energy left. And There's no such thing as saving energy or cards anymore. So like you might as well play this Teal Shield, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You have nothing to gain by not playing it. Right. Uh, gotcha. All right. What do we have here? All right, Phil. Big card I draw think... here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing that is going to save me at this point, but uh, yeah, we can throw some things on. This is some bleed. Another uh, somewhat unique so, card. Kotaro seems pretty good to me. Deal two hits to random enemies. Gain one energy if at least two enemies are hit. And of course, Phil gets unlucky. <laughs> so that's a bummer. No good there. Doesn't get yeah. the extra energy. I like it. Yeah. I, I think um, I, I, I like it a lot. You, as you can see on my frontline axi, I have Kotaro and Carrot, um, meaning I can get you know some decent free damage if everything goes right. I also like Carrot. Something else you uh, were able to draw here: gain one no. energy if this attack causes HP loss. Uh, it only does 40 damage, but in my experience, it seems pretty frequent that you're able to get it to trigger the extra energy gain. Seems like a really strong card. And seeing one of the other uh, powerhouses well, here with the, the triple aqua, right? The Koi. It's a two energy, does big damage, then it deals bonus damage per aquatic ally. Not bad. Did I, Did I disconnect? Can you uh, hear me? I, no, we still hear you. We can hear you, but you're not playing any cards. Did you disconnect? Did you just throw the first game? I am I think we might have ran into a bug here. I'm trying to play cards, but it won't play cards. Well, I mean, everything's working Live perfectly as, as intended. <laughs> this is exactly, you know, we just wanted to give Phil the one game advantage so he'd have a chance in okay. the series. Uh, I can't enter and let's see what happens when the timer goes out. All right, well, the 1v3. We got a couple seconds left on the turn. And... Yeah, you, you surrendered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we saw the power of the... Okay, we're going in. All right. Hey, there it is. The TV popped up. I've never tested this build. I made it last night at 1 a.m. Um, a lot of birds. It worked in my mind. So let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So is that uh double bird and a frontline aqua? So we've got Heart of the Ocean here. What are all these cards? We've got Lucas, take one bird card from your draw pile. Pink cheek, discard two cards, then draw that many. Okay, that's similar to that uh, aqua one we just saw. If initial, apply sleep. Okay. Kestrel, so this... apply disarm. Wow. What should I summon here? A trunk? A mushroom or a mavis? Ooh, I think people want to see the trunk. <laughs> That'll also right. really destroy my strategy here. Oh, really? All right, well, that, that seems like a good call. All yeah, right, go for the trunk. Coming in. The shiitake is pretty cute. Oh, it's in. Okay, so what does the trunk do? He t taunt? So, yeah, so it taunt. has taunt automatically. Just absorb damage. Okay. Dude, show us the mavis. I want to see the bird. Oh yeah, do you right, have that let's too? do the Mavis too. Uh, so the Mavis, before I, I summon it, what it does when your card, when your turn starts, Mavis reduces the energy of a random attack card. So it actually makes my my cards more efficient um, each turn. And there it is. Oh, look how cute! Uh, yeah, if you uh, can see the animation of it coming up, if you oh, my turn's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that Mavis, that'll randomly reduce the an energy um, on a, an attack card, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so the idea behind this build is it's inspired by um, in a, a strategy that uh, POS2, one of our support specialists from the Philippines, mm -hmm. um, had. So he his idea was um, double talk um, with a... Uh, with a rune on it, or with a charm on it, so that um, I could start my hand, it, start the game with it, 
it has like an innate charm on it. Okay. Um, but uh, that truck kind of threw a wrench in my plan. The idea is to sleep one of his back lines, um, and then use Kestrel on the front line. Okay, so sleep. The target cannot use abilities. If it's attacked, remove sleep. So right. That's it. You, mm, okay. That's that's something. All right. Four turns is kind of a lot. Yeah, it is. So is the summon strat actually good is another question, though. I, I appreciate getting to see it here for the sake of the demonstration, but I wonder <laughs> if it's actually uh, viable. I, I haven't put enough thought into the, the synergies with a lot of the different cards, um, but I think, uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely viability. Probably not a deck like this where I'm just focusing on trying to get as many summons out as possible, um, but, but potentially other ones. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show, you know, we have Nutcracker here, um, so try to get a bunch of those out, um, but you'll see, like, if I, if I do more Nutcrackers later, their damage, uh, goes up each time. Um, I do like you know, Ronin. Like, I, uh, I like Ronin with Carrot, for example. You get that extra energy, and then you play Ronin, it does a little more damage. It's a pretty cool take, um, now that there's... You know, crits are a little bit different. I think this is a cool way to hold true to how Ronin feels and give it some synergy, but you know, clearly very different. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that one. All right here, you can see uh, some of the rage stacks. You get plus two damage per rage, and then when you hit ten, that's when you enter fury form, and you deal double damage to the end of that turn. Oh, what is that? Belieber. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're, you're about to go Fury. <laughs> yeah, you're getting furious. You All won't right. like him when he's angry. Oh uh, yeah, we're we're gonna rage soon. <laughs> okay, let's see. Phil's about to go Super Saiyan for the first time. We're gonna capture it here, live on stream. <laughs> Phil, were you more of a Goku or a Vegeta guy? I, I would go back and forth. I mean, it depends on how much rage I have, but uh, yeah, I think I think Vegeta was always the more interesting character to me. Mm. The bad boy thing, yeah. Yeah, uh, always always trying to keep up. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. Well, work, work harder. If you like. Work harder. Uh, uh, all right. So I am. He's I'm furious. All right. Let's see some fury. So, wow. I love that right. graphic, too. The, the glowing Axie. Ready to launch. So, uh, he's also got a big card here. Your team gains three rage if this Axie's below 50%. So, nothing there, but 130 on Shiba. That's a lot of oh, damage, yeah. for even for that two energy. Huge. So, that'll do double damage in Fury Mode. So I uh, think Not to mention, he got an extra energy when going into Fury Mode. So, is the play mm -hmm. here to use Hero first, see what you draw... And then yeah. maybe try to use Shiba on the midliner if you can get a kill. Yeah, I think that's that's the play here. So let's let's try it out. Oh, the crit doesn't do enough. I don't know what these secret debuffs do. Oh no, uh, this is annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. We're about to do a 270 crit to this 17 HP frontliner. Oh man, what a heartbreaker! Ah, oh, such a waste. No. <laughs> Oh uh, man, yeah, you really disabled all my stuff. Yeah, so that is Kestrel. Kestrel is the new Graveland. All right, screw it. Let's just uh, yeah, overkill this uh, this frontliner. Go for it. Let's see some big numbers. Two sixty six. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that shade? That's extreme overkill. <laughs> Oh, disabled cards are the worst. Kestrel. And falling asleep is pretty bad too. So you got some pretty uh, effective effects there. So is this winnable for Shade? I think so. I think so. He's got cards up his sleeve. 
I don't know this double bird lineup very well. Actually, in all of our testing, I think I've seen birds the least. So I, I'm learning alongside everyone else here. Still hanging on to that coin as well. So ramping up for a potential big combo. I have a lot of bad card draws here. Yeah. All right. Dude, you got to summon, summon the shroom, bro. The shroom? All right, yeah, hit us with a shroom. The so what the shroom does is it uh, it, it just restores HP each turn um, and then also loses HP. Um, okay. So it'll decay so, over time. So it restores 24 to your weakest Axie. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Cute little supportive shroom. Happy little shroom. I feel like Sirius is also pretty good. Select one card to discard from your hand. You get to, to select it. You just play it at the end when your turn's almost done is your last energy, and then you're like, yeah, sure, discard whatever, because who cares? We're about to discard him anyway. Yeah. And it does 90 totally. damage. Like, I'm a, I'm a serious fan. Ha 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 ha. Was that reflection? Is that what just happened? You just got feared? Yeah, uh, yeah. The the bird has a secret debuff thing. I think it was that. Is that what this spiky yeah. blue shell thing is? Like this is. Yeah. Kingfisher. The next attack against this ally is reflected for eighty five damage. Whoa, whoa! All right, get out of here. All right. I think that's all for me. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see I had a had a quick heal there from the mushroom, I believe. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of uh, revenge, revenge cards. cards here. <laughs> okay. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal here. So, But don't worry. You got the Kestrel, so you're good. Yeah, that'll help a little bit. He's got that mushroom there. It's going to heal a little bit. <laughs> Love my mushroom. It's just dancing there. The summons are very cute. They definitely win like the cosmetics battle. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a flex if you if you win with your summons. <laughs> I really like the way the beast class feels, though. I love the, uh, this rune a lot, Endless Anger. Gain three rage when your turn starts. Each rage grants one bonus damage. Dude. You just get so angry. Yeah. I want to I want to mention that we're intentionally playing slowly, right? Yeah. Uh, usually in a regular game, uh, it's it's a little bit more fast paced. <laughs> yeah, and, and we'll speed up a little bit too as we go on. But you know, want to yeah. give people plenty of time to try to absorb you know this new gameplay, some of these cards. I'm trying to to do my best to explain as we go along. So we right. also voice from above butting in. We will be looking at data to see what the optimal turn timer. Right now it's 90, just you know, to make sure that we have enough time to test and so you guys can explain, but we'll be looking at potentially adjusting it uh, way down actually. So uh, yeah, just keep, keep that in mind. So. Very nice. All right, some more spread damage here. Gain right. stealth. Oh, I wasted a, a rage. I wasn't counting my rage properly. Man, I have, I have so much yeah. energy left. I don't even have things to use it with. You went Super Saiyan and didn't even know it. What a flex. <laughs> Sometimes I just, you know, hulk out. <laughs> this is actually intense. This uh, Shade has pretty good axes, and I think he had, like, this is winnable. Let's see. I, we don't. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I've got two okay. kingfishers here. I'll use both. Uh, oh, I don't have anything to use this energy on. Yeah. I see. This is. I try to burn the coin early because I. I feel like I get stuck in this situation more often than not if I don't use it when I still have three axes alive. You, you just never yeah. end up in that perfect right. cycle oh, of. Just, Okay. Going in big. All right. Uh, what do we have? We got our... 
And do these secret debuffs, like Bunch for example, if if Phil were to pass right now, do those debuffs persist into the next turn? Like if you don't attack into them? Uh, normally, yes. But Kingfisher and Sarastas, uh, they specify next attack, so it's not like a specific round amount. Gotcha. So they'll stay until look at hit. So they're sticky. Okay. Yeah. Say so you get the kill on the backliner. Things heating up. Yeah, that fear, I believe, was what did it for me. Okay, I survive another turn. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, what a card draw. What a card draw. Now you're wishing you had that coin. Gravel Ant. <sighs> that, forgot about that trunk there. Yay, trunk. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the back, so I didn't see him. Yep. There. That tree's memeing too. Look at the smile just, on his face. He's just like, it yep. just blended into the background. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. That's the trunk strat. No! The, <laughs> no! <laughs> the trunk. Yeah, Damn. that was a hero trunk right now. Let's see if Phil gets dead carded, and he kind of does. Mm, yeah, I wonder. All right, I think I'm going to have to use this. Oh, okay. Is it zeal time? Uh, all right, let's see. Might be zeal time. So, like, banish is a tricky yeah. thing to try to balance, right? If you use it too early, mm -hmm. you end up taking all these cards out of your deck, but you also still want to try to use these zero energy when you get value out of them. Ooh, the nutcracker. All right, I'm going to try to finish this one off. Oh, I got another fear. This is going to come uh, down to the wire. What else should we use here? Sure, let's summon one of these guys. You can bring out the bird? Yeah. I love the card art on Mavis as well. It's such a funny like angle to look at. It's like from the bottom up of a bird flying. It's pretty <laughs> adorable. Yeah. All right. Shade in trouble. It's a decent card draw, though. Okay. Yeah, it did. This is good. Okay. This is yeah. The... So my my beast has a uh, rune that gives me a bunch more rage, which is why I've been raging so hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a rager. <laughs> Ooh, coming in. Oh man. I'm gonna all my cards are gonna be disarmed or revenge cards now, I feel like. I I like that Nemo tail where it heals you and gives you an energy. Ooh. But this it's a banish. Is useful. Oh, are you in fury oh, mode? Uh no. I it's like I've exited Fury mode, oh, okay. um, but I was, able to, Fury I was mode. able to cleanse the disabled cards, uh, so that was really helpful. I feel like this, is this a, a rune you've got here, this leftover potion? Yeah, this thing's pretty uh, solid. Recover 4% yeah. of your max HP at the end of your turn. I feel like it's it's actually been doing some work. It's keeping you alive. Yeah, it's chipping away at... Uh, Definitely helps. All right. Then. Ooh. All right, oh no. Well, see you later. Hey. Is that your your secret power? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the so Kingfisher. Annoying. Kingfisher's pretty good, dude. <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh yeah, I feel like it's killed a bunch of my guys. Okay. I think Shade has a good chance here. Oh okay, this is a solid draw. Get the Are you serious? Off. You get Kestrel too? Oh, oh my no. gosh, I think you're actually going to win. This is ridiculous. Uh, I got some big debuffs here. Oh, All right, man. Phil. Really weak draw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm all disabled, tough. so that's, that's tough to deal with. <laughs> all right, well. Oh, much. no. That Kestrel really, 
helped me. So yeah, like I, I guess you play your revenge cards, right? That's optimal. Just get what damage. Yeah, you, you have can. to just. Yeah. You gotta use, just mean, use just that energy. Get some value, and oh my god, is this a real card draw? Look at this. He gets the Kestrel, the Kingfisher, and the Double Talk. The comeback. Phil, I hate to say it, but I think you might have lost, buddy. I think so too. <laughs> it's all good. Got to got to play some cool combos here, actually. You did get to some play some cool myself. combos, but man, this disable, especially in the one v one, like you had a decent draw, but you just can't do anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> if I could do something, I could finish pass. it, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, wow. Shade, this is mean. This, how are you gonna do this to your your coworker like this on the, the debut? <laughs> Next, uh, all right, GG. Next internal meetings are going to be awkward. Yeah, <laughs> GG though. Wow. Well, I learned something today. The bird strat is solid. That was double bird plus aqua. So there you go. Yeah. Also